Joining us by telephone is Dr. Tony Yedu, and good evening, sir. Good evening. How true are these allegations? That I bought a car, a Ford has tradition. Yes, I did. At, at 6,200 Ghana CDs. That's right. It's, it's, how, how, how is this? Could I beg your you, pardon? How, how is this? Um, could you explain to us? The, the NPP is alleging that uh, this is not supposed to be uh, the price at which the car is, is to be bought. The NPP is the value of cars that have been boarded for reasons of uh, not being roadworthy. Uh, and they are the ones who value uh, cars which are not roadworthy. First of all, let's get some facts into a perspective. This car was part of a fleet of cars that were ties for public auction. The advertisement appeared in the Ghanaian Times. I called the auctioneer, and the auctioneer took me to where the were parked. The cars were parked at a private workshop called Barney Limited, S V A N I, Barney Limited, at Sacramento. It was when I got there that I realized that these cars were coming from the castle because I recognized one car that was the bulletproof car which I believe former President Rawlings was using. Mm. And these cars have been left for a very long time and they were deteriorated. The car in question that I'm supposed to have bought below value did not have a functional gearbox and a functional air conditioning system. Its front windscreen was cracked and the back screen was also cracked. The bodywork had deteriorated with the effect that even water was seeping into the sea. <clears throat> the auctioneer assured me that he could get me a gearbox and get a mechanic who can more or less restore the transmission system. The mechanic did get me a gearbox, which I paid for, and I also ordered part for the rehabilitation of the newly acquired gearbox. Uh, which means the you, you, you must... The car was evaluated. Right. The car was evaluated by the State Transport Corporation by the auctioneer himself. Mm. At no point in time did I apply to anybody at the castle or any government authority to purchase a car for which a car was allocated to me. This was a car that was sold in public up up after it has been duly advertised by an auctioneer been, whose services have been engaged. Oh, documentations including even the authority to evacuate the car from where it was after the sale and purchase agreement had been made mm. was done. The director of transport at the castle has more or less provided this authorization and at the appropriate time the documentations will be made. Now, I've heard things like fraudulently manipulating. These are very defamatory acts by people who are so reckless that they get information and they will not even investigate. An application to the DVLA for change of ownership and re registration of the vehicle was sent by me as I am entitled legally to do. Mm. And if somebody at the DVLA doesn't know 
how I came to acquire the car and we believe that this was a serviceable car that was sold to me. And let the person come to court and give testimony. But those who have gone public today, mm. they impugn my integrity and say all kinds of things about me manipulating the system and so on and so forth, would also have a case to answer. This is not a matter of political right. rhetoric. It right. is a matter of facts and evidence. So, Dr. Edu, I've apparently cost you to... Um, Put uh, the 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 car back into shape. How much how much are we looking at? Oh, quite a lot. Can you imagine a complete gearbox for a Ford Expedition car? Uh, uh, a restoration of an air conditioning system, replacement of front and back windscreens, even the acquisition of seats, spare tires, and so on and so. Forth. And and putting and a figure to it. Who clean, <laughs> the, 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 the value of the car today is 60000 The question that they must answer is, how do people who are claiming to have a sentence of public duty allow a car of that value to stand as a private workshop to the Tory? Right. Right. P putting a figure to it, how much would you say it cost you? Subjected to public auction. Dr. Edu? Yeah? Put putting a figure to it, how much would you say it cost you to revamp this car? Oh. The relevance of this question is to the accuracy of the valuation that people who are ignorant of the condition of the car are putting. I don't see any relevance. If we go to court and the court determines that I pay the price that is unconscionable, then I will bring my case of expenditure. But so far, we are dealing with a, a lot of ignoramuses who, for political reasons, are more or less mentioning figures and things that they have no idea. I've heard Samir or whatever his name is, say that in principle, uh, four-wheel drives are not sold to public officers. This is not a duty car for which a public officer has applied to purchase. This is a car that has been boarded and has been put on the market for disposal because it has been declared unserviceable. I was not a person who declared a car unserviceable. I was not the auctioneer. I was not the one who advertised for public auction of the vehicles. I was not the valuer. Right. I was now, not the one who gave the authorization. Do, Dr. Edu, now the, the NPP also alleges that you have used your office to get the car at How six thousand. How can I use my office? Six, six thousand two hundred. Now, what I'm asking, what, what I want to find out from you, Dr. Edu, is could an ordinary person? Being at the auction and probably got the car six thousand two hundred CDs. I use my office to determine the value of the car. I, I, apparently, they 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 claim. So uh, if they say you can you can immediately see that if a private official valuer or an independent official valuer, like the state transport corporation is asked to value a car. Mm. And I have no contact with the state transport cooperation. So, and the value is put on the car. Where for my abuse of us? So could, ha could, could, could an ordinary person have bought I mean, this I mean, Ford? Could an ordinary person have bought this Ford yes, at, at 6200 Because I saw the advertisement in the Ghanaian Times. Right. Th thank you very much. Uh, we've been speaking to Dr. Tony Edu, and he's been reacting to comments from the NPP over uh, alleged buying of a state Ford expedition uh, with presidential specifications at a price of 6200 Moving on.